friction. Friction opposes the motion of the objects. Anything that doesn't let another thing to move easily into it on its own direction and continue its way opposes or is against the motion of the objects. Another thing is that it increases when the speed of the motion of the objects increase. So an increase in the speed causes the more friction or having, uh, I can say vice versa, that when we have more friction, it means that maybe the speed has increased. Um, advantages of the having the friction Friction doesn't let us to slide, and we can easily walk on the floor, on the ground, on the tires, and our, um, because there is a friction between the sole of the shoes and, and the ground. The tires of the car, uh, they don't slip um, because easily, or they don't skip because uh, it's very easy for them because of that friction between the uh, two objects that are moving on each other. So if two things they rub against each other, it will be a uh, friction uh, produced. The friction can be in the water when you want to swim, or it won't be very easy if you want even to walk in the water. Um, so because there is a friction, there is a, a, a force applied to you against your motion in the water. And there is another friction when you want to try to fly in the air, like the birds, like the like the airplane. So uh, there is a friction, uh, which is the air resistance or friction, which is uh, pushing us backward, doesn't let us to easily uh, continue on our way. Um, another thing is that the friction lets you to grip or hold. Uh, things in your hands, like me, I can write big and I can take uh, this pen in my hand because of the friction between the pen and my fingers. If it was no friction, I, would, I wouldn't be able to hold it easily. Slowing down falling objects, so that's the air resistance. And if something is falling down uh, in the air, it's like a parachute, so the parachute is or a skydivers, they use these actually um, benefits of the um, friction. The friction doesn't let them to uh, land very fast, and they help them to uh, the land have very safe landing. So that's our, these are the advantages, the benefits. Well, what are the disadvantages of the friction? There are actually the friction causes heating of the object. The heat is produced when two things are rubbed against each other. Like when the electricity is moving into wire, because the electrons are moving into this um, another material, and on the way they have to fight against this resistance or this friction to open the way to move forward. So a heat is produced on it. Some part of the energy of the electrons is used to overcome this friction. Another, for example. When you rub your hand against this other, I mean, these are two surfaces that are rough, and you rub them against, it means that uh, a heat is produced because of the friction between these two uh, surfaces. Um, yes, heating, cause heating, and it is so many times unwanted. And the other thing is that the, when the two things are working and they're moving and they are running, uh, rubbing against each other, like the motors, engines, or the engine of the car and the machineries that are working, this actually friction between the uh, two parts of the object that are moving against each other causes the wearing and tearing the uh, moving objects apart. And that's a loss, of course, for the companies, for the owners of these machineries. Another one is the efficiency will be reduced. We have a reduction in the efficiency of the work and in our vehicles that we have in the machineries. So we have, they don't work as they have to do, or they have been designed to work. So they work less than uh, they receive. I mean, they gave out their output would be less than the input uh, in the machineries. So because as many of these actually energies that are using is being based to heating and other things. So the efficiency will be reduced here. And there are many ways to 
reduce or increase the um, friction based on uh, if uh, what actually we want from uh, that friction in that moment. If we need more friction, we can increase, and if we need less, we can decrease. Let's see how we can increase and decrease the friction force. Now let's see how we can reduce the negative effects of the friction force. Um, if you want to reduce the friction, there are many ways. One of them is you to use the wheels um, or the ball bearings and to put between the two surfaces that are in contact. And the other one is to polish the two surfaces in contact again um, or to apply lubricants or oil. Um, it makes it uh, slippery. And the next thing is that to reduce the friction by uh, creating an air cushion uh, like the hovercrafts that they move on the water. Cushion is filled with the air and so uh, it is actually makes a barrier, a boundary uh, between the surface of the water and the bottom of the boat. So it lets it to and lets it to move easier. Uh, with the less friction on the water.